Why do we dream? What motivates us? How does memory work? What is the key to solving life's problems? These questions and many more are answered by psychology. It is an interesting and fascinating area of study. Whether you're here because you want to pursue a career in the field or because you're just curious and want to learn more about the subject, a better understanding of psychology will help you improve your life. Hi guys, how's it going? Today's video is an introduction to psychology. I'm going to talk about what psychology is and at the end of this video, I will share with you 10 branches of psychology that you can pursue a career in. So stick around till the end and let's get into it. The term psychology comes from the Latin for the study of the soul and while the term has evolved throughout history, today we define psychology as the science of mental processes, experiences and behavior. Anything a human mind can do naturally is called a mental process. Common mental processes include memory, emotion, perception, imagination, thinking and reasoning. Even when we are asleep, some mental activities go on. For example, we can register the knock of a door in our sleep. Some psychologists have shown that we also learn and remember in our sleep. Mental processes such as remembering, learning, knowing, perceiving and feeling are of interest to psychologists. They study these processes to try to understand how the mind works and to help us improve the uses and applications of these mental capacities. Experiences help us to perceive the world around us. It encompasses the present contents of our consciousness or awareness. Experiences are subjective in nature. We cannot directly observe or know someone else's experience. Only the experiencing person can be aware or be conscious of her experiences. Psychologists have focused on experiences of pain by terminally ill patients or psychological pain felt in bereavement. But besides this, they have also focused on positive feelings such as romantic encounters. Psychologists also study obscure experiences such as when a yogi meditates to enter a different level of consciousness and create a new kind of experience or when someone takes a drug to get high. Behaviors are our external reactions to the environment. When something is thrown at you and you blink your eyes or when you are taking an examination and can feel your heart pounding are examples of behaviors. Behavior manifests itself as the interplay between stimulus and response. You may see a tiger or think that you have seen a tiger which is a stimulus and decide to run which is your response. Coming up, I am going to share with you 10 branches of psychology that you could pursue a career in. But first, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to this channel. Branches of Psychology Various fields of specialization in psychology have emerged over the years. Let's take a look at some of these specializations. Number 1. Cognitive Psychology This investigates mental processes involved in the acquisition, storage, manipulation and transformation of information received from our environment along with how we use it and communicate with it. The major cognitive processes are attention, perception, memory, reasoning, problem solving, decision making and language. Number 2. Biological Psychology this focuses on the relationship between behavior and the physical system, including the brain and the nervous system, the immune system, and genetics. Biological psychologists often collaborate with neuroscientists, zoologists, and anthropologists. Neuropsychology has emerged as a field of research where 
psychologists and neuroscientists are working together. Researchers are studying the role of neurotransmitters or chemical substances which are responsible for neural communication in different areas of the brain and therefore in related mental functions. Number 3 developmental psychology. This studies the physical, social and psychological changes that occur at different ages and stages over the lifespan from conception to old age. In other words, it studies the changes that take place from womb to tomb. The primary concern of developmental psychologists is how we become what we are. For many years, the major emphasis was on child and adolescent development. However, today an increasing number of developmental psychologists show a strong interest in adult development and aging. They focus on biological, sociocultural and environmental factors that influence psychological characteristics such as intelligence, cognition, emotion, temperament, morality and social relationships. Number 4 Social Psychology This explores how people are affected by their social environments, how they think about and influence others. Social psychologists are interested in topics such as attitudes, conformity, obedience to authority, interpersonal attraction, helpful behaviors, prejudice, aggression, social motivation and intergroup relationships. Number 5 cross cultural and cultural psychology. This examines the role of culture in understanding behavior, thought and emotion. It assumes that human behavior is not only a reflection of human biological potential but also a product of culture. Therefore, behavior should be studied in its socio-cultural context. Number 6, environmental psychology. This studies the interaction of physical factors such as temperature, humidity, pollution, and natural disasters. on human behavior the influence of psychological arrangement of the workplace on health emotional states and interpersonal relations are also investigated current topics of research in this field are the extent to which disposal of waste population explosion conversion of energy and efficient use of community resources are associated with and are functions of human behavior. Number 7 health psychology. This focuses on the role of psychological factors such as stress and anxiety in the development, prevention and treatment of illness. Areas of interest for a health psychologist are stress and coping the relationship between psychological factors and health patient doctor relationships and the ways of promoting positive well-being number 8 clinical and counseling psychology this deals with causes prevention and treatment of different types of psychological disorders such as anxiety depression eating disorders and chronic substance abuse A related area is counseling which aims to improve everyday functioning by helping people solve problems in daily life and cope more effectively with challenging situations. In many instances, counseling psychologists work with students, advising them about their personal problems and their career planning. Like clinical psychologists, Psychiatrists also study the causes, treatment and prevention of psychological disorders. But they are different from each other. A clinical psychologist has a degree in psychology which includes intensive training in treating people with psychological disorders. 
In contrast, a psychiatrist has a medical degree with years of specialized training in the treatment of psychological disorders where they can prescribe medication to the patients, while clinical psychologists cannot do so. Number 9. Industrial or Organizational Psychology This deals with workplace behaviors, focusing on both the workers and the organizations that employ them. These psychologists are concerned with training employees, improving work conditions, and developing criteria for selecting employees. For example, an organizational psychologist might recommend that a company may adopt a new management structure that would increase communication between managers and staff. Or they may carry out a study on satisfaction levels of the employees and ways they can improve these levels. Number 10. Sports Psychology This applies psychological principles to improve sports performance by enhancing their motivation. Sports psychology is a relatively new field but is gaining acceptance worldwide. There you go. These are a few of the branches of psychology. Let me know in the comments below which of these 10 branches you would want to pursue a career in. Now if you want to know more about the careers related to these branches of psychology, make sure to download my free worksheet that is linked in the description box below. And as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.